Construction of public infrastructure is a key sector in which public resources required are estimated at 1.4 billion US dollars per year over the next decade world over. Uganda already spends approximately 1 billion US dollars per year on public infrastructure equivalent to about 11% of its gross domestic product. Recent studies show that performance in the sector has been affected by delays, budget overruns, low absorption and corruption. This has brought unnecessary, unsustainable, defective and dangerous construction projects, buildings that collapse and roads that break up. There is also limited access to relevant information to enable citizen engagement in the accountability processes. All these factors ultimately affect achieving value for money in the sector. The people who are the intended beneficiaries of uh, these projects are not involved in any way to understand what the challenges are and what, if at all, um, role they can play to uh, help uh, the situation. The construction sector transparency initiative cost works on enhancing transparency and accountability in public construction projects through facilitating information disclosure and citizens engagement in advancing value for money through promoting the cost international data standards. Construction sector transparency initiative. This was all its origin from Uganda National Road Authority which sometime back in 2013 applied to cost international in which has the secretariat in London to be part of it, to be assisted, and especially to promote transparency within the construction sector. COST is a, a multi-stakeholder working uh, group or initiative. It is voluntary in nature. For Uganda, COST has the multi-stakeholder working group which is comprised of the Office of the Prime Minister, the Directorate of Ethics and Integrity and UNRWA. Then, of course, we have the private sector and the civil society represented. COST promotes and advocates for efficient and effective procurement and implementation of public infrastructure projects to enhance sustainable quality service delivery and value for money in the construction sector in Uganda. COST strengthens the capacity of the various stakeholders to generate, analyze and disseminate information to the construction sector and further creates a platform for information sharing and joint advocacy. Coast Country Program is built on a scoping study to identify the current situation and challenges facing selected procurement entities. The study gives a baseline measure of transparency in publicly funded infrastructure projects and finds out how transparency and accountability in public infrastructure within central and local governments needs to be improved. It also helps identify how cost infrastructure data standards can be adopted to contribute to those improvements. The program is also informed by three core values. Disclosure, assurance and multi-stakeholder engagements. Critical to note under disclosure is that at least 40 indicators are supposed to be disclosed proactively and reactively in the project life cycle. Cost infrastructure data standards are represented by indicators at project identification, project preparation, project procurement, project implementation, and project completion. By promoting assurance and multi-stakeholder engagements, COST creates a platform where government, private sector, civil society and citizens can share validated and simplified information to enable decision making. It is a right and a responsibility of every citizen and government agencies to join COST initiative by actively participating in the monitoring of publicly funded infrastructure projects and holding duty barriers responsible for a quality and an effective construction sector. 
Everyone has a role to play in enhancing transparency and accountability in the construction sector in Uganda to foster national development. Mm -hmm.